eyes closed. Seven strange prayers to pray. This is the last month of the year. And this is not the time to joke with prayers. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Every activity of the enemy. Can you shout it loud? Delegated to scatter my joy. Can you shout it loud? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Makasetende yabushende raba. Then we pray. I wish you could see what has happened with that first prayer. Second prayer is this My challenges. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you shout it loud? In the name of Jesus, deal with the challenges. In Jesus' name, we pray. This is number three. I see somebody breaking through. This is number three. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every old thing that is not allowing new things to manifest in my life. Can you shout this loud? In the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. If the next person around you could see hear you, you could see hear the voice of the person around you. Then you are not praying this fourth prayer very well. Can you say wicked powers? Running after me. Collide with the rock of ages. Wicked powers. Running after me. Collide with the rock of ages. Open your mouth and pray. They must collide with the rock of ages.
They must collide with the rock of ages. Just name we pray this is number five beloved say angels of God find the source of my problems and kill them now can I hear you saying that Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. name we pray Bible says he that cursed thee is cursed you now shout this loud and clear I curse anything that is cursing me I curse anything that is cursing me by the power in the blood of Jesus open your mouth and cast them thank you Jesus name we pray say so where is the Lord God of Elijah arise stop my stoppers can I hear the sister shouting this yes aha put your emphasis on the stop can I hear the sister shouting this again? Yes. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody shouting it loud. Stop my stoppers in the name of Jesus. Makasetela kaya boshente. Stop my stoppers. I stop you before you stop me. In Jesus' name we pray. This extra praise for some people here. But don't say it doesn't concern me. And I counsel you to pray them well. Say every serpent sitting upon my destiny. Can I hear your voice roaring like thunder? Your voice is not loud enough. What are you waiting for? Death!
Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. The power of God is going to visit so many people. Thank you, Jesus. You, that person over there, the power of God will fall upon you and something will fall off from your body. The battles of your parents that have become your battles. My Peter, Lika, right there where you are, be disconnected from that battle in the name of Jesus as a first person as a second person as a third person yeah, the battles of your parents they are disconnected they are disconnected from your destiny there is a power of God coming upon you Let him go. Let him go. Remove your chain from the waist. Remove your mobile serpents from the body. Remove it. Remove it. In the name of Jesus. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. You have been hiding for years. And I don't care how you got there. I release fire upon you in your hiding place. Silence. Silence. Woman, the weight, invisible weight laid on your head is making your head heavy. The owners of the evil load, they've carried their load now. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. The power of God is going to fall upon some group of people. These people, the enemy has assigned to make you die another person's death. Silence. That arrow as a cancer to jump out of you and go back to the senders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. You have been tormenting her for years. Let her go in the name of Jesus. The battles that want you to go down in the places where you are supposed to go up. I said them ablaze. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout it loud and clear, everybody gathered here this evening. Oh, God of signs and wonder, advertise your power in my land in the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. name we pray the strange infirmity in the eyes the strange infirmity in the chest the strange infirmity in the breast the strange infirmity in the backbone the strange infirmity in the womb Lose your hood, 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 in the name of Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? December afflictions. I am not your candidate. Back for in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. Silence. If you are that person, you came here with a particular condition. Check your body now. The heaviness has disappeared. The growth, evil growth has vanished. The mobile serpents have gone. And the power toying with your menstruation has departed. Check your body very well. Check it well. But don't let the devil put it back. Find a way to the altar quickly. You brought those conditions here. They've now vanished. Find a way to the altar very quickly. Don't let the enemy put it back on you. You, the spirit of sleeplessness. Your time is up. Get out of the head. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. See what is happening. See what is happening. Jesus. Jesus. Aha. Every witchcraft sponsored fibroid. Vanish now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Like I told you, these are not days to negotiate. Enemies of my next level. wherever you are. Can you say it with boiling anger? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Deal with them, deal with them in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Makapote setene ke yebo shendera bosanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Something is about to happen. Father, let your fire fall upon these hands. Let these hands pull down every stronghold of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now, any infirmity you have in your body, smite it with fire, with power. And shout on the head of that infirmity. Go back to your senders. We are going to do it 21 times. Let's go! Do it well, do it well. body now. I see so many being delivered from long term infirmities. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before you got here. And once you have been healed, find a way to the altar here. Don't let the enemies put them back. Can you shout this loud and clear? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Pursue my pursuers! In the name of Jesus! Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every mouth of the enemy. Say it with anger. Speaking against my star. Can I hear you saying that loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. Shut up! Die! In the name of Jesus. name we pray right there where you are begin to tell the Lord three things three miracles you want before this month runs to an end talk to the Lord by yourself Father, all the prayers your children have prayed in this first prayer session, let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. 
by the power that breaketh the head of Goliath. By the power that divided the Red Sea. By the power that brought down water and fire from heaven. Let each and every one present in this service possess their possessions in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy has stolen from you since you were a child, recover them now in the name of Jesus. Recover them, 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 recover them in the name of Jesus. When I mention a particular month, you will shout and recover them by fire. Are you ready? Any blessing the enemy has stolen from you in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Recover them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we cover these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Affliction will never rise again. In Jesus' name we pray. Specially brought forth by the Holy Ghost to change destinies. It's important that you pray them. It's important that you are serious with them. It's important that your voice roars like thunder. Can you shout this loud and clear? Serpents of death. Shout it with hatred. In my body, I set you ablaze. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my star. Let your voice roar like thunder. Come out of your hiding places. And shout. In the name of Jesus. Jesus.
Jesus, then we pray. This is number three. Say, powers assigned to pull down my ladder of glory. Before I leave this place, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. I refuse for my ladder of glory to be pulled down. In Jesus' name we pray. A loud amen. Before eyes closed, there are 10 prayers to pray. And there are 10 transactions attached to each prayer it will be a major tragedy to keep quiet if you can see here the next person to you talking then you have, you, you've not started prayers immediately the process of this prayer starts some long term situation that the enemy has put a seal upon the seal shall be removed as you pray this prayer that sister over there that thing that that demonic prophet has stolen from you demonic prophet shall be restored sevenfold let your voice roar like thunder. Powers mocking my prayers. There, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody is breaking through in this prayer. Jesus name we pray if you love your family pray this second one seriously covenant trees of darkness in my family can you shout it loud Personality sitting on my money. Oh God, arise. Pull them down in the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through with this place. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. So, oh God, Allah, remove my name from the register of difficulties. Somebody will get serious breakthrough in this prayer. Remove my name from the register of difficulty. Open your mouth and pray. Somebody 
Something is happening again, yes. name we pray say angels of war Arise. slap my enemies by the cheekbones in the name Name we pray. Say every mountain standing between me and my breakthrough. Can I hear you shouting that you're boiling on? Somebody needs to shout that louder. Yes, yes, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. In Jesus' name we pray. For more. I wish you could see what is going on. Then you'll be more aggressive. Arrows! Assigned to dry my blood. Name we pray. Three more. Say powers. Assigned to command my legs. To where I will be killed. See if it's more me. Powers. Assigned to command my legs. To take me to where I will be killed. Can you shout it in great anger? Before I leave this place, there, in the name of Jesus, this is not a day to negotiate. my flesh can you say it loud and clear catch fire in the name of Jesus search the dining table ablaze Jesus 
Jesus name we pray this is number 10 say my mockers hear the word of the Lord you shall celebrate with me can you say it loud say it with a commanding tone in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. They must celebrate with you, whether they like it or not. In Jesus' name, we pray. There be silence now. Don't say anything. That will say amen. Masika tenda le kaya boshande. Ribo salia le kaponda la katenda kaya boshende rabo sanda. The evil tongue that has been prophesying evil against your life. The evil mouth that has been talking woe, darkness against your life. Wherever they are now, I command their tongue to glue to their mouths. I, I said, don't say anything. Yes. The tongue they are using to curse you. The tongue they are using to rain incantation against you. I command the tongue to glue to their mouth. Wherever they are. Yes. It is written. My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Therefore every yoke of darkness evil load evil load on the head evil load in the eyes evil load in the throat evil load in the chest evil load in the stomach evil load in the womb evil load in the legs you the owners of the evil load carry your load now one by one Carry your load. Carry your load. The one from the waters. Carry your load. The one from the sea. Carry your load. The one from the forest. Carry your load. Silence. 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 The hidden mark on your forehead does it make you to lose money? lose benefits fire is coming upon the head you can't hide you can't hide you can't hide you have made a mistake by falling out here today let her go in the name of Jesus. Jesus. My katenda yabo shente. 
Ribosepila katenda ya Na katenda I'm going to pray this prayer now You shout a tenfold Powerful Volcanic amen And add in the name of Jesus Let your amen be the loudest As I pray this prayer Father I decree That any power troubling the Israel of anyone here Oh God of Elijah Trouble them now in the name of Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, continue to lay your hands upon us. And anoint your people by your power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us here tonight. We thank you for a wonderful time like this. We thank you because your word says, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Thank you because your word says, Blessings abound where you reign. And those who are in captivity are set free. Thank you for bringing your people here tonight. To this manna water service. Marie Katenda Lekaya Boshente. As many as are gathered here tonight. I decree upon your life. Any wicked weapon. Fashioned against your life shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Shall backfire, shall backfire, shall backfire, shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Any power threatening your progress, trying to hinder your progress, backing against your progress. They shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. They shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. 
and right there where you are the power that cannot be insulted the power that cannot be rubbished the power that cannot be reproached the power that will make you a terror to the enemy receive it in the name of Jesus receive it 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 in the name of Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Let's have a sing. God bless you. We know not what we should pray. Our we know not what we should pray. Be a thing bad. That's a topic tonight. A cori or rowa near sale in Romans chapter eight. Nay, we will roam or we We see a very strange passage. Are a yoka conto shaggy. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. You do well to follow me very carefully. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray. We know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make it intercession for us. We groanings which cannot be uttered. Likewise, the spirit also helped our infirmity. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Prayer is a deep thing. Prayer is a mysterious thing. Prayer can rewind. Prayer can work in the present. Prayers can be fast forwarded. Prayer can be like currency in the bank which you can store. You can store prayers. Some of, some of us are enjoying the prayers that our parents stored now. The bank. And so, because prayer is a deep and mysterious thing, many of our modern day men don't really understand prayer. Many churches running do not understand prayer. We do respect. They do not understand. Some of them that understand have started praying now. And those who were laughing at the mountain of fire miracles miracles before, they started praying the same prayers they were laughing at now. The reason they were laughing at that was because they don't understand the mechanism, the science, and the chemistry of prayers. Prayer 
That's why we have prayer of agreement. United prayers. Adura ajumogba. Prayer of faith. Adura ibagbo. Prayer of intercession. Adura ti ishipe. Prayer of consecration. Adura iyeni simi. Prayer of worship. Adura ijosin. Prayer of confrontation. Adura idoju ijakon. Judgmental prayer. Adura idajo. We have prayer of thanksgiving. Ani adura ope. We have prayer of adoration. Ani adura ijuba. We have prayer of intercession. Ani adura ishipe. We have prayer of nullification. Adura si sondi asawa. Nullify. It is in existence. You want to cancel it. We have uprooting prayers. It's something has entrenched itself somewhere. And you want to uproot it. We have back to the sender prayers. We have fire for fire prayers. We have mountain moving prayers. Prayers. So if any of you shall say unto the mountain, be that removed. We have mountain moving prayers. We have the prayer we call the prayer of asking. The prayer of knocking. We have inquiry prayers. At the same time, we have prophetic prayers. We have apostolic prayers. We have prayers to speak destruction. We have prayers of dedication. We have aggressive prayers. Traveling prayers. We have those who do prayer work. We have Desperate prayers. At the same time, we have vernacular prayers. We decide to start praying in your language. We have prayers of lamentation. We have decreeing prayers. We have prevailing prayers. We have barricading prayers. We have warfare prayers. We have revelational prayers. Bondage breaking prayers. Care casting prayers. We have defensive prayers. Evangelistic prayer. Geographical prayer. We have the healing prayers. We have the wordless prayers. It's praying, but no words are coming out. After the order of Anna, we have the revival prayers. We have the silent prayers. We have the singing prayers. Surveillance prayers. We have the wet prayers. This prayer that somebody is singing in praying in tears. We have this kind of prayers. Different kinds, different categories. Because prayer is deep. Prayer is mysterious. So this strange passage we read. Let's read it one more time. Likewise, the Spirit also helped our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. We know not what to pray for as we ought. For we know not what we should pray for as we hurt. So this scripture is informing us that because of our infirmities by that infirmity it means human limitations our restricted understanding we don't have understanding our restricted understanding because of that there are two things we do not know we don't know the what 
of prayer. And we don't know the how of prayer. What prayers to pray? Adura to ye How to pray them? They say we don't know. In other words, Lord we don't know what we should pray. We don't know what we should pray for. We do not know how to pray as we should pray. Crudely put. He says, we do not know the matter to pray about. We do not know the relevant method which every peculiar problem warrants. We do not know what should make up the content of our prayers. Because what you need may not be what you want. The Bible says is there is a way that seemeth right unto men. <laughs> but the end thereof is death. There is a proverb that says, Not all that guilt us is gold. In the spirit realm, it's not sometimes what you see physically, you attack spiritually. Jesus was looking at a woman in the temple. All others could see was a woman bent double. But Jesus saw beyond the bending double. Jesus is not saying, straighten up. Straighten up. Begin to walk straight. No, he went straight. So, woman, thou art loose. So she was tied. She was tied. So the correct prayer is be loosed. Be loosed. Not be straight. Not to walk straight. And you know, prayers have to be specific. Prayers have to be specific. If it's not specific, it falls into the arena of general praying. For the same reason, with all the shouting of blind battles. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. When they brought him to Jesus, strangely, Jesus asked him a strange question. What do you want me to do for you? What kind of question is this? Why did he ask that kind of question? The prayers were not specific yet. And I said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. That was specific prayer. He needed to receive Sight, which had been taken away. I don't know whether you understand what I'm telling you. We do not know how we should make up the contents of our prayers because of our human limitations. Sometimes when you are saying, let me go, let me go, maybe the prayer is not even let me go. Maybe, maybe the price turned me to fire. Maybe that price will have been turned into fire. And then without fire, whatever is holding you burns away. We do not know the manner in which some the prayers are done. This is why the books on prayers are there. A lot of people are so limited, they don't even know how to construct the prayers, what to say. 
there is still a mystery and a deepness about prayer that the modern day man does not understand. And it worries me when I read the Bible and I find that these ancient men knew something about prayer that we do not understand. Yes, there was, there was a pattern, a way in which those old, the old saints in the Bible worked that we have not even discovered, let alone walking there. The way Elijah prayed for rain was different from the way he prayed for the dead. The way he prayed for fire to fall was also different from the way he prayed for rain to fall. The Bible did not expose to us all the wordings of these Elijah's prayers. There are things they know we do not know. That's why we're suffering. Can you raise up your voice with thunder and with fire if you love your destiny? I shout this loud and clear. Oh God, Allah! Damage my ignorance today! In the name of Jesus! My people perish for lack of knowledge. In Jesus' name we pray. It is possible to be feeding your enemy fat. In order to fight you. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. All unfriendly friends are assigned to mock your destiny with a sevenfold amen. Let them be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Bible says likewise. The spirit also helped our infirmities. The spirit knows that you can't see beyond your nose. The spirit knows that that dress you went to borrow, somebody wore it to a coven, but you didn't know. You touch, you just borrowed the dress. He didn't know. He said, I don't know why my body is scratched. Why my body is itching me. And so he began to rub and not on your body. Yes, that is not the correct prayer. The, the correct prayer is that the Lord should first of all deliver you from long throat of converting other people's dresses. And then deliver you from the evil the deposit of the evil garment. That's the prayer. We don't know the manner in which we should pray. So because of that limitation, you can't see into what is happening in the spirit realm. You can't see beyond your nose. You don't even know where you are. Then the spirit helps that infirmity. How does God help our infirmities? He helps our infirmities by letting the Holy Spirit intercede for us and through us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Groanings too deep for utterance. How does this happen? 
Look at verse 27. Verse 27. I'm going to read this verse slowly. I want you to understand it. And he that searched the hearts know it what is in the mind of the spirit because he make it intercession for the saints according to the will of God. The Bible makes us understand so, what things know it the heart of men so, except the spirit that dwelleth in him. So, it's the spirit that can know the deep things that is happening to you. This means several things. Number one, the Holy Spirit does praying. Does the praying. That's why it's important for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Number two, the Holy Spirit knows what your spirit man wants, what, what the solution is. Three, the Holy Spirit searches our innermost being to know our deepest desire. Many are in trouble and when, you say, when we say they should pray, they don't even know what to pray again. For the Holy Spirit patterns the way we pray according to the problem that we have. Five. The Holy Spirit decides the pattern, the format, the structure, and the content of the prayer. That's why the Bible tells us sometimes God just sits down helpless because of our ignorance. What, what you are seeing is absolute rubbish. It's not relevant to what is even troubling your life. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. What? What? Yeah. You could pray the wrong prayers from the cradle to the grave. The Holy Spirit, number five, the Holy Spirit decides, addresses what you cannot address. When we cannot pray, in our infirmities. He addresses what you cannot address. So what am I trying to explain slowly? Prayer is not merely a single weapon. But an armory, armory. Armory of all kinds of weapons. Armory of all kinds of weapons. Look at what he said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Philippians 4, 6. Prayer is an armory of all kinds of weapons. I pray once again. May the Lord damage our ignorance in the name of Jesus. Philippians 4 6. So be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving combination of three things three prayer supplications thanksgiving three things combine so 
by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto God so these three ways are the ways to make your request known unto God beloved there are different methods for prayer different methods for prayer you cannot subject God to test tube experiment you cannot dictate to God what method you should use by looking at how Jesus healed the blind Jesus, 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 Jesus the blind. He's looking at it is very instructive in one occasion he made clay with saliva and placed it in the eyes of the blind man at another time you just look at the man so go and wash yourself in the pool at another time he spoke the word without touching the person at another time he led the person out of town took him away from his town and touched him twice outside the town that place a blind man was there and Jesus did not pray for him in that town he dragged him out of the town if you are in that town that Jesus had to drag the man out he even had to touch him twice and you are in that town praying don't be too surprised and that prayer is swallowed the minute you are praying it so, so a good prayer warrior who can see will know that there is no prayer that can be answered in this place so even Jesus had to take the man out the, the king of kings and the lord of lords took the man out of the town so who are you a prayer warrior they say you are praying in that place let him out of town touch him twice then when he got to blame Bartimaeus he just said thy faith has made thee old so you don't see one designated method by which he was healing the blind yeah you begin to study how he raised the dead too I'm explaining this so we can know that there are different formats strategies of prayers. The only spirit could say, be jumping up as you are praying. You could say, be clapping your hands as you are praying. You could say, get on your knees as you are praying. You could say, lie flat on the floor as you are praying. Let's now consider how Jesus raised the dead. For Lazarus, he publicly called Lazarus by name and asked him to step out of the tomb as one method in the case of the daughter of Jairus Jesus asked everybody to go out he even sent some of his disciples out too retaining only three in the room and he prayed why did he chase those people out that's the question you should ask we are talking about prayer why couldn't he pray in the presence of all of them you go you go you leave, leave, leave this place leave this place without any prayer prayers you call people by name and then they 
come out of the dead. When he came to the son of the widow of Nain, he just touched the coffin. Just the coffin. Before he asked that boy to rise up. So every battle demands its own strategy. Don't ever compare your life to the life of others. Don't ever compare your Christian life to the life of others. Anybody who wants to be tall does not use a dwarf as his standard. Now they have to rise as I ever that I'm not praying the way I'm praying and I seem to be having breakthrough. I mean that I'm praying. Oh, you don't understand. Your great grandfather was a witch doctor. Your grandfather was a marine priest. Your own father joined 32 cults. Your mother, your mother is the chief caterer in the witchcraft meeting. Your mother. And then that's how you were born. But you compare yourself to somebody. Mother, Christian, daddy, Christian, they gave birth to him in church, they named him in church. Many people here were not named in church, you were named by a native doctor or a mosque or somewhere like that. Some, sometimes they don't even they don't they, they don't even do naming ceremony for they just give you one name put some rat in your mouth and there you are so don't you don't compare yourself to such people that's why nobody comes to mountain of fire by chance he got brought you to mountain of fire it's not, it's not a mistake he brought you there for a purpose he had seen your future he has seen your destiny he knows what prayers you need but unfortunately the enemy catches up with some people before they achieve victory pushes them from the fire into the smoke you say leave the place leave the place leave the place they leave then the forces that have gathered before that could not get close to them in the fire will now guard them seven fold more power and go into the attack every battle demands its own strategy Jehoshaphat was in trouble he cried to the Lord he thought God would say don't worry don't go to that battle we'll send thunder to destroy them he didn't say go and hide there go and hide there like God will sometimes tell David you go to that place that's why you should hide no he was expecting those kind of instructions <laughs> but, but the instructions he got was strange let's say take a choir put the choir at the war front let the choir lead the war choir let the armed soldiers be at the back what kind of method is this as a reason God gave that method strategy and by the time the choir started singing the soldiers at the back were there the enemies wage war against themselves they were provoked to start fighting they fought 
they destroy themselves. The soldiers that were coming are just to divide the spoils. This is a very, very serious matter. I remember that brother that was in trouble. He has a lot of headache. And one day, as he struggled with his life, the Holy Spirit says, Son, change your prayer to I shoot you, my stubborn oppressor, in Jesus' name. And don't keep quiet until I stop you. He started. My stubborn pursuer. I shoot you. 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 As he was praying, as he was praying, he made a slip in his mouth. I said, I bind you. I said, No. I didn't ask you to bind. I said, Shoot. I said, Sorry, Lord. Went back again. All of a sudden, I was a scream at the top flat was the landlord knocking his door said, I don't know what you are doing stop 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 when the brother had stop 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 no he didn't stop didn't stop at all this man was from the east he's part of this country a part of this country. One place they call Arochuku. He now became more stubborn with the prayer. He didn't open the door. He, started, he continued to shoot. The, the landlord died at the mouth of his door. That man had been capturing the virtue of all the tenants, but now. He had admitted a stubborn tenant. I'm praying for somebody here. Any invisible power shooting arrows at you shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. They shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. A louder amen. I told you the testimony of that sister too. Every month, broke, 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 broke. She was always, always broke. Until one day, the Holy Spirit gave her the prayer point. So begin to cut off evil hands that are holding your finances. He was, she was praying in Lagos. Somebody's hands were being cut off somewhere else. It was then she could prosper. But if the prayer was, Oh God, make me rich. Oh God, make me rich. Oh God, no. no. It's not how it should be prayed. Every battle has its own strategy. When Satan comes to manifest as accuser of the brethren, the appropriate weapon is the word of God, the word of our testimony, and the blood of Jesus. When Satan comes as a roaring lion, the weapon is soberness and vigilance. When it comes as a mountain, the weapon is to cast it into the sea. God knows which sea to send them and where to send them. When it turns up as an unprofitable tree, the prayer is to dry it to the roots. When it comes as eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, the prayer is that they should eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. Every battle has its own relevant strategy, relevant prayers. I'm praying for somebody. I don't know who you are. God will release thundering fire. 
upon all evil gatherings against you. In the name of Jesus, let your amen rule like thunder. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. This is where we're going to stop tonight. All eyes closed. In case you are here, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. By say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Say that short prayer with me. Don't rush home. Just gather here at the front window. We we'll close. Or you can take our data from the screen so that we can contact you. Thank you, Jesus. This prayer, I want you to pray. Uh, it is a question of one prayer representing 2,000 prayer points. Just one prayer, but it's 2,000 prayer points. So pray it as if you are praying 2,000 prayer points. Can you raise up your voices like fire and like thunder? To so pray and get results. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. I am available. Come upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. name we pray before we continue please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting father we thank you for the tithes and the offering the good measure prayers are falling over shaking together let it be our lot in the name of Jesus lay your hands upon your people Lord in Jesus mighty name we pray you can find the boxes before you, or you can take our numbers from the screen, the data from the screen. While we listen to the music ministration. Hallelujah. How many of you believe the Bible is the word of God? Somebody shout, Bible! The word of God. Hallelujah.
Oh, na-na-na-na-na.